Mental health has been a big issue during the pandemic, and it's certainly something we're talking about more. But there is, can still be a stigma, which is why the woman you're about to meet started speaking out to help others. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. Andrea Paquette has a powerful story, and she isn't afraid to share it. I nearly lost my life. I experienced depression and mania, even psychosis, where I was believing things, hearing things, seeing things that weren't there. Andrea was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2010. She tried to end her life and had to be hospitalized twice, but she's decided to speak out about her struggle to help others. I felt in my heart that I went through so much tragedy that personally going through that had to mean something. And if my personal story could inspire other people to share their stories, to seek help and to know that they don't have to suffer in silence, that became my biggest inspiration. Does anybody know what stigma is? Andrea started giving presentations 12 years ago, branding herself as the Bipolar Babe and founded the Bipolar Disorder Society. It was renamed the Stigma Free Society six years ago to help raise awareness, understanding and acceptance. It really lifts up the voices of other people's stories who have lived experience not just with mental illness, but disabilities or autism. Hi there, I'm Maddie. The COVID pandemic posed a major challenge for the society, which had been doing everything in person, but pivoting to virtual and developing online toolkits for youth and people in remote communities has also helped expand the society's reach. We can reach youth in all parts of BC and even Canada. And so many people have been suffering. The conversation has become more normalized and for that I'm thankful that we can talk about it more and be more open. Andrea says there's still a stigma when it comes to mental illness, which is why the Stigma Free Society is looking to expand with a new national strategy. I feel like I was given a second chance, having almost not made it because I took an attempt on my life to living a full beautiful life. I just want people to know from my personal experience that things do get better. There is always help and there is always hope. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.